Hello and welcome to YQ Academy Tutorials. My name is Priyanka and topic for today's discussion is for loop in JavaScript. Loops are used in JavaScript to perform repeated tasks based on a condition. A loop will continue running until the defined condition returns false. This is the flowchart of a for loop. If you see the syntax, there are three expressions inside for loop statement. The first one is initialization, then we have condition, and lastly we have update a statement in the syntax of for loop. In initialization, we declare a variable and initialize its value with the help of assignment operator. Then in condition, expression is checked each time before the loop runs if it evaluates to true. Then the body of for loop is executed and if it evaluates to false, then the loop stops. And then we have update statement which helps in altering the value for further execution. Now let's see an example for for loop. I'm using Visual Studio Code for running the program. I created a folder named JavaScript. And using this icon, I created a file and I named this file as forloop.js. Now let's write a program for for loop. Here I'm declaring a variable using let keyword and the variable name I'm taking as i and I'm assigning a value to it, uh, let's say zero. Now let's write the condition part. So I'm giving i is less than, uh, let's say four. Now uh, let's give the update statement like i plus plus. And now the body of for loop. So let's print the value of i. Let me write console.log and then value of i. and then give the variable name as i. Now to see the output, let's write node and then the file name that is for loop.js. On clicking the enter button, we can see the output as the value of i is 0, 1, 2 and 3. Now let's take uh, another example to display some of uh, numbers using for loop. So first let me create all these uh, statements as uh, comment. Now let me declare a variable using let keyword. I am taking variable name as sum and I am assigning value 0 to it. Now let me write the syntax of for loop like let i equals to 1 and then the condition part let's take i is less than or equal to 10. And then the update statement. So let me write i plus plus. Now let's give uh, the body for for loop. Here I want to display the sum of uh, first 10 numbers. So let me write sum is equals to sum plus i. So here the body of for loop is ended. So outside the body of for loop, let's write something for user like console.log. And in console.log, let's write the sum of uh, 1 to 10 is now to see the output let's write node for loop.js and i'm taking the enter button we can see the output as the sum of 1 to 10 is 55 so uh, these are the examples of for loop in javascript so that was it for today's video thank you for watching